from Southeast Texas. We welcome you inside Minute Maid Park here in downtown Houston. Today, a matchup out of the American League Western Division between the Oakland A's and the Houston Astros. De Jesus, the American League's batting leader, steps into the box. Coming up next. Let's play ball. Three. Standing in, Lee Vera. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Liga, half of the first. The Astros, the center fielder, Lee Vera. First pitch on its way. That's a ball. And that misses for ball one. And Dan Dero, these A's as they begin play here this afternoon, they come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Yeah, Maddie, they lost last game only by one run. Those are the tough ones. But I'm sure they've looked at the film, made a few adjustments, and let's see if they can give a better effort today. A ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter. The 1-1 one, one is a fastball that misses. They're going to probably stay away from this guy. He's got so much power. You don't want to miss over the heart of the plate. But I think when pitchers try to be too cute on that outside corner, they might leak one a little bit inside. And this is where that guy would jump on it. Hit down the line at first. But a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Time now for a quick look at the hometown Astros starting lineup. Danny, who stands out to you? You know, I'm looking forward to see what this guy can do in that five hole. He's got a five game hitting streak going. If you've got to start those big streaks somewhere, I like the way he's swinging the bat right now. Great approach, very comfortable. Let's see if that streak continues today. At the plate, Pete DeJesus he got off to a really hot that start this year and currently that's leads that's the American hitter. League in batting Pete. average over the first half yeah, of the campaign. Pete. Yeah, there's probably a handful of guys that get to enjoy the All-Star break the way he did. He was swinging such a hot bat that first half to find himself in Pete first place in batting average. What a great start to the second half for him. And he's really continued to look great in the second half of the season over the last 10 games, hitting over 300. He's been so consistent all year. His timing, just his presence in the box. It doesn't look That's like this is going away anytime soon. Probably going to battle for a batting title the rest of the way. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Balls and strikes belong to Mr. Jerry Hillsdale. You know, d -Row, I think Jerry Hillsdale is a very good hitter's umpire. Doesn't give much on the edges. He's going to make you put the ball over the plate. Oh, I love me some Jerry Hillsdale. You have to come over those 17 inches. He ain't giving you anything on the outside corner, and that's the way it should be. Got him to go down swinging there. Pete DeJesus becomes out number two this inning. Now batting, batting Josh Seddon. He's two stop. for seven Josh. in the series so far. Seddon. First pitch of the at bat. Heading out towards shallow right. Cooper is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Astros go down one, two, three. Still no score. Now in the box, Armando Arias. As you get a look at his current righty lefty splits entering play in this one. Arias. First delivery to him on the way. Owen won the count. Two. 
swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Line to the right side. But he will come on strong out there in right and pull this one down for the first out. All right, guys, here's how the Oakland A's are lining up defensively. And when you focus on the numbers, this starting pitcher leads the American League in strikeouts. When I had a big punch out guy on the mound, I always tell myself I have to stay in. I have to stay engaged mentally in this one. I have to watch what the catcher's putting down. I have to go through my pre pitch routine and stay on my toes because at any moment, that big ball that could be coming your way. No left fielder. Coach Gorman. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Grounded, fouled off to the right side. Bottom of the second here with no score. Zero. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball. He's working really quick, keeping the ball down in the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Every pitcher looks to get off to a good start. And I'd say he's off to a good start. How about the first five batters he's faced? Three of them he sent down via the strikeout. Stepping in now, the Edmund McGraw. Edmund. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. That batting average hovering in the high 230s. 11 home runs and 33 driven in. up with it. Throw in the dirt but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. One two three go the Astros will move to the third with no score. Back now in Houston home of the Astros who've certainly treated their fans to some impressive pitching so far this year. Coming into this game they rank among the best teams in the league in strikeouts and hits allowed which is no doubt an indication that they have a lot of depth on this staff. One member of the coaching staff reiterated that most teams realistically have only two or three dominant arms, if that. But we're extremely fortunate. We've got so many talented guys that we're really confident. Into the box. Eli Castilla. He'll get us going in the home half the of Kendrick. inning number three. Eli. Hey, we're still in the early Let's stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. And there's a strike right down the heart of the plate, 0 and 1. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. You know, when you're facing a top of the line pitcher like this, he's going to be down around the knees like that more often than not. The key is punishing whatever mistakes he makes, but so far he hasn't made many. The 0 2 delivery. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Ready now, Keith Feliz. He'll get Batting to take it. his first cuts the here. Third baseman, Keith. First offering on its way. One, one, Hit one. back up the middle. To his left, Kershaw. And quickly, there are two away. Settling in now, Juan Zamora, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Zamora. 
First pitch coming, here it is. Fly ball to straightaway left. Klein on the move. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Astros go down one, two, three. They trail things here two to nothing. Stepping into the box, Lee Mera, who looked to bounce Astros. back after striking Those out his fielders. last time up. Things Lee. not looking very good Mera. so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. And here's a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning. Oh man he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly this pitching staff they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Now batting the designated in now Pete De Jesus. De Jesus. As he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1. De La Cruz is there for it. Two down. Riding in once again, Josh now Seddon. He flew Josh. out in his last at bat. First Seven. delivery to him on the way. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. Astros still have yet to tally their first hit in this one. And it's fouled away. And he fouls this one off. Now another 0 2. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Astros. They're down two to nothing. At the plate, Armando Arias. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Digging in now, Colt Gorman now comes back. into this at bat 0 for 1 in the Colt. ball game. Gorman. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98, 0 and 1. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone, and when he comes off the mound at the end of the inning, looks like he stepped in a big old bucket of sassy. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Still a little early to start talking about these things. There you go, right there. A big goose egg in that hit column, worth keeping in mind as we get later into the afternoon.
Stepping into the box, Edmund McGraw. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 2. Bases are empty here with two men out. The 0 2 once more is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Astros go down one two three. They're on the short end of a four nothing score. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Eli Castilla. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Eli. Here comes the first pitch. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing and one. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Good breaking ball right there. Good hard slider. The count now 0 and 2. He's getting deep into the outing, but his slider is still staying sharp. He doesn't look at all like he's starting to tire. He looks as good now as he did early on in the game. And he struck him out. The 10th victim set down on strikes thus far. So the shutout still intact here in the sixth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see right there that these guys rank second in the AL in that category. Digging in, Keith Feliz. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And there's the first hit of the game for Houston. Wow, I was starting to wonder if we had to go on no hit alert, Dan. I know you were privy to that. Sixth inning right here, they finally break through with their first hit of the game. And, and you have to wonder, Dero, this guy had been cruising all along going into this sixth now inning. Bad. We'll see if he can the be able to fielder. buckle down right here. Whoa. The sixth and seventh innings oh, are boy. normally the toughest inning for a starting pitcher, so we'll see if he can minimize the damage now. Juan Zamora is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Fouled away. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. That's strike two on a well placed changeup around the knees. Struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? And what's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Up next to the Astros, the center fielder, Lee. Into the box now, Vera. Lee Vera, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Right by him here, and he's set up for another strikeout here. The count to 0 and 2. I mean, this offense has struggled because they haven't been able to make the adjustment. He stayed staunch on the outer half, and these guys have not worked the ball the other way. 0 and 2, here it is. Just a touch outside, 1 and 2. Broke out the sweeping slider right there and just missed off the edge. If he would have caught the corner right there, I think he's got a backwards K. And he lays oh, off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Heading out towards shallow right. Hooper coasts under it. And that's the third out. 
Astros leave one need to get it going soon it's five nothing. Leading off the inning to Jesus and they'll need him to get something going here. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle. It's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. No balls in one strike. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. I'll tell you, we're in the later stages of this ball game, but his fastball is still coming out of his hand with plenty on it. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Klein moves over, one out. So he's still got his shutout working here in the seventh. And with that in mind, we check out the league leaders in shutouts. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Ready once again, Josh Up next Seddon. The Astros. Not shortstop. Josh. Ready to deliver. Seddon. Here's the first pitch. One, one, Rounded one, one. back up the middle. Scooped up on the backhand. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Digging in once again, Armando Arias. Now batting. First baseman. Armando First pitch on its Arias. way. Good bite to the slider, and he takes strike one. This offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk at the same time. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be the hero and just start getting the leadoff guy on. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Astros. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Now to the play, Colt Gorman. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how the starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looking really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Well, when you're winning a game this late, the last thing you want to do is give the other team some hope, and that's what this air does. They have a base runner and a chance to make some noise now. Runner at first, now following back. the error. Second and that'll base. give way to the veteran Ed second base. baseman, Edmund McGraw. McGraw. First pitch coming, here it is. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. All right, all you're asking for as an offense is a chance. Well, your leadoff man has certainly done his part. He's gotten on base. You have to start clawing back into this game right now if you're going to find a way. One and one the count now. The one one is swung on and missed for strike number two. Gorman aboard here at first with nobody out. Swinging a soft liner to second for one on to first and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now in now Eli Castilla and they're down to their final the four outs here Dan the catcher. yeah it's not looking Eli. too good for them right now Matt Let's they've got a significant hill to climb but they've got to take it one bat at a time a couple of guys get on and then who knows what could happen moving under it fine and that retires the side. Astros are down quietly. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 nothing. Digging in. Keith Feliz. He singled his last time up. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this. Only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. No balls and a strike to count. The wind up and the 0 1. Yeah. And he watches a called strike at the knees. No balls and two strikes. Two great pitches down in the zone. Interested to see where he goes now. Does he bounce something in the dirt? Does he go elevated fastball? A lot of options at hand right now. Fouled off.
Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Up, up, up. Here's a pop up now. Kershaw waits on it. One down. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Now batting. The Standing in now, Juan Whoa. Zamora. First baseline to his left, Abernathy, and he'll take yeah. it to the bag himself for the out. Striding in, Lee Vera. He's their last shot here with two the away in the ninth as the they look to fielder. avoid the shutout. Lee. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't Vera. had any Vera. answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Strike one to start the at bat. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. One of the keys to good pitching is attacking early in the count. That's two pitches, two swings, and an 0 2 count. Let's see if he goes right after him and tries to bury him here on the third pitch. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Last strike now for Houston. This is skied into short left center. Calling for it, Santiago makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Oh, man. So close, but yet so far. Can you imagine giving up one hit, pitching such good baseball for nine innings, but one base hit kept him from baseball history? 5 nothing. the final score today. The A's get their 30th win on the road so far this season. Number 40 earns a league best 20th win, striking out 12 in the process. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.